Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Alright, so in the last part with the Broke family, Brandy actually met a man and... I'm glad y'all all agree with me that Craig is amazing and he's the one and I'm really excited for them to see each other again. I've been playing a little bit off camera because it is almost Ethan's birthday which means we really had to work on his skills, make sure he grew up well. So I had her potty train him, teach him how to walk. We have to teach him how to talk. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to do it in time. If not, it's okay. She's a single mom. What do you expect? But anyways... It's been crazy around here. As you can see, the house is an utter disarray. It's just a complete mess. Um, but yeah, Ethan is about to age up into a child in just one day. So any any second now, they should be triggering us to age him up. We could probably, um, I think, buy a birthday cake. Is that how you do it? Make a birthday cake? Um, yeah, I think you have to buy one. Maybe we could age him up tonight. Can you age him up a day early? Not really sure. We're going to try. <laughs> and then also, Bo actually ages up into a teenager in two days. So, I'm actually trying to get him to go work on his homework because uh, he's been slacking a little bit. But he's catching up. And then Brandy has been... Okay, well, she's been struggling. <laughs> the house, like I said, is a mess. We really got to clean up around here. We want to rub on our little... Uh, lamp wow rub on that's like a very inappropriate way to start a sentence wow <laughs> we want to rub on our little lamp and make a wish maybe get some money some happiness can we help can we get some fun because we're really struggling but um oh god i'm choking on my spit jesus lord help me anyways <laughs> it looks like brandy is going to be feeding ethan and I really want her to take the day off work because she's been working really hard and it is her kid's birthday coming up and she hasn't had like a lot of time to hang out with Craig and my goal for Brandy and the Broke family, I really want her to get married. I want her to be happy and start a life, you know, with a new man to take care of her and help her, you know, with the kids and everything. I'm not going to get a bottle for him before I throw something at him. But anyways, in order to do that, we really need to take a day off because uh, she's just been really busy. So, I mean, let's go to uh, call. Let's call work. And even if we have to lie and say we're sick, I think we, ha we do we have vacation days? No, we don't have. Oh, okay. We don't have any vacation days. So, it's probably going to be with no pay. But you know what? That's a Oh, really? We don't even have the option to call in. Hmm. Hmm. Well. What are we going to do? We may just have to... We may just have to not go. Uh, Bo, are you asking us to read to you? Bo, honey. That's... That's sweet. I would love to. Oh, you did your homework? You did it all? I'm so proud. Okay, but we're not doing that because Mommy is about to lose her, her marbles, okay? All right, let's hold Ethan. He's, oh, Jesus. He's having a conniption. And, um, mm. Okay, well, actually, can we just, like, let him out? Brandy, Brandy, let him out. And we're going to have him go potty. Oh, I know, I know. He's driving me crazy, too. <laughs> Having toddlers is fun. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yeah, let him out. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. And then we're gonna have him go, because he is potty trained. He can use the restroom himself. And then we're gonna put him in his crib to take a nap. And what I want to do is, okay, we really need to have some fun. I know. I want to come out here and rub the lamp, make a wish, see how, see what happens. Oh, wait, wait, wait hold up, pause. Somebody's calling. I wonder if it's Craig. I hope it's Craig. No, it's our friend from work, I think. What's her name? Yeah, Rosemary. Rosemary, not interested in what you have to say. Okay, we're going to rub this lamp out here. I'm an all-powerful genie with the fabric of the universe at my command. I will grant you three wishes. All right, let's wish for, ooh, to cheat death, give me a peace of mind. Okay, hmm. Can we, like, do that in a second, though? Because my kid is uh, having, like, sleep deprivation over here, and I don't want child services coming, so please <laughs> go put him in the crib, Brandy. I'm sorry. I know. We're, we're going to make a wish. We really are. Mind your business, woman. She's like, what the hell's going on here? 
Oh, we have to make our wishes right now? Okay, well, okay. Ethan, you're going to have to wait, honey. We're going to wish for a peace of mind because I feel like um, that's something that she's definitely going to want, uh, just being a single mom and raising her kids. So he's going to grant her a peace of mind. And then uh, let's wish... Um, we're going to wish for a long life. Because I would feel like, you know, she's going to want to, you know, witness her grandchildren one day and be around to make sure her kids are doing good. So we don't want to end up like um, their father, unfortunately, have a short life. So we're going to wish for a long life. That's logical. Your wish is granted, Master. You have one remaining wish. Okay. 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 We're going to wish um, for wealth. And we're gonna okay we're gonna wish for wealth but we're not gonna blow it if we get wealth and we get some money we're not going to blow it do you hear me i'm talking to myself chris so you're not gonna blow it you're not gonna get a new house this is perfect we're going to put it up for our kids so we can send them to college we're gonna do the right thing your wish has been granted however you have used the last of your wishes and according to genie law i must leave farewell hello buh, 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 buh. get money what does buh, 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 buh mean you tell me i don't know <laughs> all right yeah we're gonna collect our wealth oh no get the money grandma get you you, you do not see nothing ten thousand dollars okay not bad interesting cool okay that was fun let's come over here and put ethan in the bed because uh I know our nanny is judging us right now. She really is. Okay. She's still having a hard time. <laughs> We're going to put him in his... Okay. It looks like the granny's doing that. Okay. Great. Thanks for helping. I appreciate it. All right, what I want to do now is not go to work. <laughs> We're going to be a little bit rebellious, and we're going to call... Ooh, we could purchase, like, a sloppy jalopy. We need a car. Or a minivan. She could probably use a minivan. But we're not going to blow it. What did I just say? it. <laughs> Everyday struggle. You're not going to blow it. Alright, we're going to call taxi. And we're going to um, invite us into a community lot. And we're going to invite Craig out. Alrighty. So, as you can see, Brandy and Craig are doing... They're doing... They're doing pretty good. I mean, I mean, look, through, look at that little smile on her face as she's leaning in for a kiss. Anyways, I'm so happy for her. I really honestly am. But we decided to skip work, obviously, <laughs> because priorities. She's losing her freaking mind. Um, we also, I didn't know this because it's been a hot minute since I played The Sims 2. We know, well, I've been playing it for a while now, but I'm still discovering all these things. But anyways, when I wished for wealth i got the money bag well money bags just keep following me around so we've gotten so much more money so we're definitely gonna have to use some of that to get us a vehicle which people do that when we get back home but right now um just point out to y'all real quick that <laughs> i told y'all she's been stressed right okay remember the last part she was wanting to have a baby and i was like girl no well look she now has the fear of having a baby which you know kids will do that for you <laughs> but i thought it was really sweet that craig invited her out just to take her mind off things and he's like don't worry about work we're gonna relax so we are at the little spa and gym which I don't remember what is to do here, but uh, hopefully something fun. If we even have to come and take a spin on this little thing, just something to get that fun up. Um, ooh, the hot tub. Does, ooh, can we uh, can we do a hot tub? Woohoo! Anybody feel me? I know that'll get our fun up. <laughs> okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna come over here and get in the hot tub. Hopefully be greeted. Who are you? Why are you coming to greet us? Shelby Barrett. Hmm. Anyways, okay, we're gonna go in the hot tub and then we're gonna invite Craig to come join us and then maybe we can get a little frisky. That should get our fun up there. We're also getting like really tired. But actually, you know what I just thought of? Okay, we're not gonna do it though because she's gonna be super tired, but you know how in The Sims 2 you go to a community lot and it kind of pauses the whatever time it was when you left your home lot when we get back home the carpool should still be there to pick her up so we technically could still go to work but i mean we could probably quit our job i mean realistically if we're gonna have money bags falling from the sky but we're not gonna do that we're gonna be responsible but how do we ask him to join us there it was asked to join 
I don't know if we're on that level yet to where we can get a little frisky, but, you know, maybe we can at least uh, make out. But it looks like so far so good. She's already starting to relax. Her fun and comfort is starting to go up a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she's finally found love. I'm happy that he cares about her. And uh, my goal is for her to get married, like I said. And he is the one. I'm so glad y'all agree. But, uh I love him. She doesn't want to have another baby, and honestly, I don't think we have room for another baby, but um, I really want her to have a little girl. I want her and Craig to have a baby, so we'll see. That may be something we save for season two, but how do we uh, let's move on over here so we can get a little close, if you know what I'm saying. Let's get a little closer. Okay, hey. All right. Um, let's cuddle. Ooh, all right, let's tenderly kiss him. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look, so they are officially crushing on each other. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I wish he could give her a massage, but we're gonna give him a massage. Uh, I really want a woohoo. I know, I mean, that's not very classy to woohoo on your first like official date, but think about how much stress she's under. I'm just saying, I know what's good for stress. <laughs> wink, wink. But anyways, we're probably going to go home in just a little bit. I want to come up here and uh, socialize with Craig a little bit more before we leave. But I do think that once we get back home, I want to say that today is the day that Ethan's aging up. I did get the notification before we left that we have one more day until... Um, Oh my gosh, Bo ages up. He'll age up tomorrow at 6 p.m. So I was like, you know, bye, Kay, get the birthday party ready and all that fun stuff. But I think, I think Ethan's aging up today. And I, it's pretty positive that Craig is leaving us. What is this? Oh, it's the, the witch. Wicked witch of the, the... Hey, what is she doing? Oh, I thought she was messing with us. Maybe she is. Oh my gosh, whatever. We're both freaking out over the... Uh... Okay, Craig, bye, honey. Thanks for the uh, fun time. Kind of rude you just left without saying bye, but you know, I'm not going to hold it against you. We're going to call a taxi, and we're going to go back home. I guess the weather kind of ruined it for us, unfortunately. And anyways, we're super tired, and we're sleepy, so I think, like I said, when we get back, we will be having a little birthday party. I may go ahead and just purchase a cake. I think you can age toddlers up with a cake in The Sims 2. All right, so it looks like we are able to age him up by bringing him to the cake. So before Brady passes out, she's going to come over here and wake him up and take him over to blow out his candles. Now, I think he's still going to grow up good. We did not accomplish having him learn how to talk, but... But we did have him potty train, and he learned how to walk, which I think is pretty good. Like I said, can't hold too much against her because it's, it's been pretty rough for her um, as a single mom. But, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I got to make sure I get a picture. All right, so I think he should be aging up now. So I'm excited to see what he looks like. Obviously, he is the spitting image of his mom. Look at his little booty shaking. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, let's look. Let me take a good look here. Get down here in tab mode here. Don't mind me. Uh, oh my god, he does. He looks just like Brandy. Uh, I also see Skip in him too. Interesting. He's cute. I want to fix his hair and give him a little bit of a makeover. We need to do that. I'm pretty sure we only have, um, well, I don't know what outfit he's in, but that is his sleepwear. Um, I'm excited to see what his little outfit's going to look like, but he's so freaking handsome. Look at him. Ethan, oh, he's about to, okay, run to the bathroom, run to the bathroom. He's, okay, we, I know we potty trained you. Okay, oh, wow, Bo, really? Okay, we need more than one toilet. He's, mm. Oh, this struggle, honey, I know. Okay, get out of his bed. No, we're going to come over here. Dead gum it. What happened to our hamburgers? Okay, well, I guess we're going to have a piece of cake. And then we're going to go to sleep. We Oh, okay. Look, Nanny Karen, it'd be great if you made yourself a little bit useful here. <laughs> and helped clean up the 
the house a little bit. Brandy missed work today and that doesn't impress the higher ups too much. Be careful or it may be Brandy's job next time. Okay, we won't do it again, I promise, but it was our son's birthday and you wouldn't let us off. So, you know, we had to do what we had to do. All right, so no, I don't, I'm not interested to chat with you. All right, let's, uh, let's continue to eat a little bit of cake and then we're going to go to bed. Okay, what I'm going to do is have since tomorrow, or in the next part, we will have Bo age up, um, I think, actually, 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 take that back. I'm just going to have them both age up today in this part. Oh, look, there's our money bag. <laughs> we need to go collect our money. Um, oh, his outfit's not bad. Um, okay. Can we change his hair, though? Change appearance. I want to change his hair. I'm not really feeling that hairstyle for him. But what I'm going to do is have them switch rooms. Well, I'm obviously, he doesn't have his own room. But he's going to take Bo's room. And then Bo is going to take Dustin's room. Because Dustin will not be coming back home. Unfortunately, he's going to be starting his own family. But anyways, let's pick out a hairstyle for him. I like this one. I think it's cute. So we're going to go with that. Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay. Apparently, the shower didn't work. Okay, we'll try again. Let's take a shower. Um, okay, Bo, what I was trying to say. Get out of that bed. This is going to be your new room. All right, so basically, what I'm going to do is it's just it's going to be... Oh. And that's the, this is the reason why I don't want any more kids. Oh, Lord. Bless her heart. Jesus help her. Okay, I, you know what? You can sleep with Mommy since, since you know, you're about to grow up. It'll be your last time sleeping with Mommy. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to, you know, play a little bit off camera. And then tomorrow, we are going to celebrate Bo's birthday. Oh, God. A burglar. <laughs> but, <laughs> joke's on you because I thought ahead and I got an alarm system. So, ha, ha. Just gonna ruin our peaceful night's sleep. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, poor Brandy. She just can't catch a break. Wow. So, the burglar got away. Demi, you suck. Thanks, but come again another time. Yeah, thanks for nothing. For nothing. So, it is the next morning, and as promised, we are going to be aging up Bo, but I went ahead and made a little bit of changes around the house. So, it is the first day of winter, and I forgot, also, you know, me learning things, I forgot that we could put Christmas trees up. So, we got a Christmas tree ready for the holiday season, filling the spirit. I also got them a nice little minivan. Um, we need to make sure we get an alarm installed, because apparently we live in a bad neighborhood, and we like to get robbed. But, look who is over or home not over home he's home for his little brother's birthday it is our baby dustin so i'm so excited to see him home it's been a minute um i think we're gonna have him give him a family kiss and oh my gosh he has not seen his little brother his baby brother ethan in so freaking long so let's have him come over here and give him a kiss as well and then of course oh brandy um we're gonna go and uh give him a hug as soon as we take a shower real quick i don't want us to be like stinky or anything like that but Oh, I'm so happy that everybody's together. I have the cake ready. I invited Craig over, but I think Craig had to work. So, unfortunately, Craig's not going to be able to join us, but that's okay. As long as Dustin here, Dustin is here. That's all that matters. Um, anyways, I want you to come over here and talk to your brother. Give him a hug. All right, so Brandy, she's thinking about marriage, and like I said, she did not even know he was home, so she's going to come over here and just talk to him, chat with him, you know, ask him how he's doing, how is school, and baby, I'm so happy you're home, and he's like, mom, you know, you, the house looks amazing, I'm so proud of you, you know, where'd you run into all this money, and she's like, you don't want to know, but anyways, look at Bo looking up to his big brother, oh, I love it so much, but anyways, without further ado, I think it's time to age up little Bo and see what he looks like as a teenager. This is so cute having the family back together and little do they know but their family is about to be complete. <laughs>
what will he aspire to? All right, so I see Bo being a popular sim. I see him being, you know, a hot shot at school, having, you know, lots of friends. So we're going to go ahead and give him that popularity aspiration. All right, let's pick his turn-ons. I think he would like, hmm, I don't know. What would he like? I think that, he, I don't know. Um, I feel like he would like girls with makeup. He'd like a pretty girl. Um let's see also i think that he would like um oh my gosh y'all i don't know underwear maybe a boy's boy <laughs> he'd like underwear um sure or maybe a fit girl he'd like a fit girl okay uh his turn off black hair no i think we're gonna go with stink <laughs> that makes sense all right so Oh, we can age up Chloe, which is his friend. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so Chloe has aged up. I'm glad that period of my life is over. Um, it seems like there's nowhere to go but up. My life has been going pretty well so far. Now's the time to step up and make the future even better. Bo has grown into a teenager. As a child, Bo achieved the aspiration level of gifted kid. That's pretty good. With a little hard work, life could get even better. So, that's awesome. But anyways, what I meant by family complete, little do they know, is that Craig is probably going to be popping the question to Brandy, and he'll be joining our family, hopefully in the next part. I really want them to get engaged and have him move in and everything. It would probably not have, like, this big Big fancy wedding and probably just be something very close and intimate with the kids but anyways uh, I want him to come over here and talk to his brother uh, maybe you know I don't know they can go toss the football outside we definitely have to go shopping for him and probably Ethan I'll have them off camera later go and get a new wardrobe but anyways, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I think it's been very successful. You know, obviously Brandy and Craig are doing great. Uh, she's very close to, you know, falling in love with him. Oh, look, now she wants a baby again. Now that she doesn't have a toddler anymore, she wants a baby. But anyways, yeah, it's just, it's really cool to see everybody, you know, back together and uh, the feels, y'all. There's just kind of wraps well it doesn't wrap it up the season's not over yet but I'm, I'm i'm sad that pleasant view is ending we're definitely going to have a season two don't worry but um hey ethan is Bo available to chat sure okay but anyways uh this just it makes me feel like i'm doing something right with this series you know seeing everybody come back together seeing everybody grow up and just moving on it makes my heart happy but anyways brandy is getting some relaxation oh before the carpool arrives a uh, great we can't miss work again though but anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here so if you liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not make sure you you know turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video or an upload and with that being said i will talk to y'all later bye hold up i am on my way i'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go out to